Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my video on how to unlock Amateur Shooter, Real Deadeye, and Trick Shot in Resident Evil 4. Before we fully get started, I do want to let you know you will need to practice each course in order to familiarize yourself with the timing, spacing, and location of the targets. Course 1A to 1C are available starting in Chapter 3. Course 2A to 2C are available starting in Chapter 9. Course 3A to 3C are available starting in Chapter 11. And finally, Course 4A to 4C are available starting in Chapter 14 after you complete one course with any rank in the third set of courses. In order to get an S rank on a course, you need to score the highest of the three scores shown on a course. For example, the bottom score here is 7,000 points and will be the minimum score in order to earn S rank. The best way to get S rank is to trigger bonus time. However, the requirements will be hidden until you beat the course at least one time. Once you beat it, it will appear at the bottom to inform you what you need to do to trigger it. You don't need to hit all the targets or all the skulls. However, depending on the conditions of bonus time, you may need to. The silver and gold coins you get paid out in can be used on the token machine to get charms you can add to your briefcase. The charms you get are predetermined at the start of your save file, and their order will only change when you start a new playthrough or a new game plus. There are four tables that are determined based on the amount of silver or gold coins you place into the machine. The order of the coins don't matter, only the total quantity. Your results in one table do not change the order in another table in case you enter different coins. Table 1 is placing 3 silver coins. Table 2 is placing 2 silver, 1 gold. Table 3, 1 silver, 2 gold and the last table is 3 gold coins. The best way to get the charm you want is to save, test each drop, and then reload. Once you know the entire order of your save file, you can then choose which table gives you the best charms for the amount of coins. Finally, here's footage of S-ranking each course in case you need visual reference on how to complete a particular course.
I recommend course 3A to unlock the in-game challenge of hitting all targets without missing.
If you found this video helpful, then consider giving it a like as it really helps out my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.